Hey guys, this is Kristen coming at you from A Wishful Plan. Welcome to my channel and today we are going to walk through how I have set up my classic happy planner for 2018. This year I'm, I'm looking to have a planner that is functional but yet helps me achieve my goals and so I've been really inspired by the Happy Planner with their Goal Getter series and I really like what they've done with their planners and setting their planners up for, for reaching and achieving goals. But I've also been very inspired by a lot of you planner babes with how you guys set up your planners. So let's just go ahead and dive right in on how I am going to set up this planner for the new, for the new 2018 year. This is the Boho Deep Tones planner, classic sized happy planner. And all I've done is I have taken out um, all but January, February, March, and April of, of 2018. So all of those other months I have removed. They are put away into another set of rings for later use. And I really like the idea of planning by the quarter. Um, I, I find that that is that's an even kind of goal so I really like that and it breaks down the entire year into smaller chunks it's kind of a business form of mind a business mind frame and um, I really like that so I'm keeping January February March and April in this planner now I have all of these gold and clear dividers um, I think they're technically dashboards and I'm going to use them as dividers. So what I've done is, I don't know if you can see, like I've got this really pretty feather one. And I think this came out of the student teacher pack back at the school release. And I've labeled this as today. So this is gonna mark my today. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in for the first week of January, just so that I have it right where I need it. The great thing about the Happy Planner system is it's an amazing system that you can just completely customize yourself if you want to. Um, all of their stuff is very integrated within its own system and so you can really customize your own planner. So I really like that. Um, the next thing that I have on here is, I think it's called calendar, yeah. I have it set up for calendar and essentially what that's going to do is that's going to tell me where my planner starts. Excuse the dogs in the background, outside barking away. So this will tell me where my calendar, where my planner will start once I get everything else in. So once I have all of my first four months in, I'm going to just flip it to the back because we're gonna add some new items back here. So this first dashboard, or I guess the second dashboard, is going to be titled Home. I don't have the home planner that was made by um, the Happy Planner. So I am going to kind of recreate my own home section. And by doing that, the first thing that I'm going to add is a budget planner. Now I have bought the budget planner extension pack. Um, it comes in like this little, this little extension kit from, I think I bought this from Michaels. And I really like this. Our finances have kind of gotten away from us and we have some things that we're trying to save up for in 2018 so I want to start the new year by by starting fresh and organized with our finances and by doing that I really like this budget planner so I'm going to take the budget planner divider and that's going to be the first thing back here that indicates that this is my budget planner I went ahead and labeled the tab. I have one of those label makers. So I went ahead and labeled the tab and it says budget and I labeled both sides. That way I can reference it from the back of the planner as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in the ancillary pages that go along with this. Uh, I'm not gonna do a full flip through of this. I can do that in another video later. So this is for the month of January. I went ahead and labeled it again. Um, this came with the budget planner. They came with a set of stickers. I'll show those in just a second. I'm just going to pop these right in. And yes, they did come with a set of stickers, budget planning stickers. So I'm going to put those in. 
And then the next thing in my home section, I have this really pretty divider that I think was also from the school release. And I've just simply labeled it as meal plan, again, on the front and the back. We'll pop this right in. And then what I'm going to do back here is I'm going to add these cute little meal plan half sheets. They have a grocery list on top and the meal plan section down here on the bottom. These are from my Happy Planner recipe planner. So I am really excited to use these. I think these will be a really great addition to my planner for 2018 with getting set for meals. Now the next section, I have this Hustle divider. I don't know if you can see that. It says Hustle, um, Hustle Hard Girl. And I label it as goals. Behind this dashboard little divider section, I'm going to put my fitness and wellness back here. I don't have the wellness extension pack just yet. They haven't come out in the stores yet, um, but I will be getting the new wellness pack in addition to my fitness pack, which I bought the extension pack. I think buying it in these extension packs where you only get four months at a time is a bit of a relief. I bought the mini fitness planner for 2017 and ended up not using it at all. I think I may have used it for a handful of weeks and that's it. Um, again, breaking these down into smaller chunks will allow me to be less overwhelmed and it'll be more manageable. So I went ahead and took one tab, one little section out. I've labeled it for January and this will go right into my goals section. And behind this will be my wellness um, section for January as well. Um, but again, I don't have that yet. So then the next section that I'm going to use this divider for is labeled social. Um, and I used my little label maker to label that. And back here for social is all of my social media tracking and I'm really excited um, to be tracking this. We have a family blog and vlog that we're tracking so that's LPT um, Living Past Tomorrow so I'm going to have a divider for that as well as a divider for a wishful plan which is my planner Instagram page and now a YouTube channel. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to track both of these a little bit different. So I'm really excited because for our family blog and vlog, since that's, that's a huge um, social tracking kind of hub for our family because it has a YouTube, an Instagram, a Facebook, and um, a blog that goes with it, I'm going to use the monthly planners out of the Trendsetter planner. So instead of using this whole planner, we are just going to flip over to January. And then I'm going to take the first divider, the January divider, and I'm going to go all the way to February. I'm just going to grab this section and just pull it out. Super easy, super quick. And now this January section, I'll just put that over on the side. This January section is ready to pop in behind my Living Past Tomorrow tab where I can track all of those social media aspects. Now for a wishful plan, I'll be tracking it a little bit differently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the classic sized daily pages, daily planning pages, and this will become my social media tracker for a wishful plan and for my Instagram and my YouTube. So I will track, you know, posts and YouTube video ideas so that I can do that on a monthly basis as well. So I'm going to just pop in a handful of these back here and that will go for my social. That'll be it for my social tab. So then the next divider or dashboard is going to be labeled notes. Just pop this right in. And I really like out of the trendsetter planner. It came with this Stay Magical divider for the notes, and it is already pre-labeled as notes. I really like that, and I love the Stay Magical. So I'm going to pop this right in in the back, and this will be where all of my note papers go. So I'm going to 
go ahead and add a stack of these half sheets. They're lined. I'm going to add a stack of lined classic paper, classic sized paper. And then I'm going to add in all of the trendsetter note pages as well. So it came with these get it done little check sheets. I think these are so cute. It came in teal and it came in yellow. And then I'm also going to add in a few extra from the colored paper pack for all the things. I just love that. So yeah, so that is how I am setting up my planner for 2018. This is the classic sized again. So let's just do a quick flip through. Um, so you got the cover. The first section will be for calendar and this is where the planner will, will live. I've got my today to mark the week that we're in. Then the next section will be the home section and this is where my budget planner will live as well as my meal plan section, which is where all of my meal planners are. The following section is going to be goals, and this is where my fitness will lay, and as well as my wellness. The wellness will go behind here. And the next section is for social. So I've got this divider for my first, my family's social accounts with the trendsetter monthly um, pages back here for goals and everything. And then I have a second divider for my planner, Instagram, and YouTube videos, which is what I'll be tracking on these classic daily pages. And then behind social is another dashboard that says notes, using the notes divider out of the trendsetter planner, and just a whole bunch of different empty note pages back here, because we all know we need extra note pages to be on hand. So that is my 2018 planner. If you found this video helpful, and I hope you did, I hope this inspired you to um, think kind of out of the box and in a different way to set up your planner for the new year. So if you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please go ahead and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram at a wishful plan. As always, I hope this, you know, I hope you were able to find something out of this and I hope you have a magical day.